Hey everyone, thanks for being here. Welcome back to the weekly Monday Motivation podcast and videocast. I am your host, Sandy Ballard, the Badass Business Coach. Uh, again, thanks for being here and for sharing the podcast with others and for investing in you. So week two of December and week two of setting yourself up to finish the year strong. So if you did not listen to, to last week's podcast, go back and do that. And that would be podcast uh, 348. Got to write that down. <laughs> and this would be 349. Um, so, you know, you've got to go back and listen to that one because we did a goal review on the first three quarters and then decided what you were going to focus on for this last month, this last push. Um, and I also talked about if you know you're not um, working a full month because of the holidays, that's okay. Just what will you do to make sure you finish strong and feel like you're set up for success? Because the next two weeks after that, so next week, we will actually be re setting up our goals. So if you're out for the last two weeks of December, you need to um, maybe pop on and just download the worksheets and listen to the video. You're not busy all 24 seven of that week, right? So uh, um so yes, next week will be the whole personal, setting your personal and professional goals up for the new year. And then the last week will actually be taking action and putting those start the year strong steps in place. And so there you have it. So right now I'm going to share my screen. And for those of you who are just listening, it will be easier. You can replay this once you have the worksheet in front of you. So, all right. So, um, yeah. So looking at the last three quarters and then deciding what you really, really, really wanted to focus on for this last push. So what is your goal? What, you know, so you can, and I think I said last time too, this worksheet, you can do it for a goal review any month. So use the hell out of this worksheet for any time. All right. So that's why it says month and there's a blank. You can put whatever month in it you want. And then what goal is it? What do you want to focus on? What do you want out of this month, right? You know, and then what are you going to do? So week one, what are you going to do to try to achieve this goal? Not try, do, right? Achieve this goal. What are you going to do to achieve this goal? And then at the end of every week, so if you want to go ahead and write in week one, I'm going to do this week two, I'm going to do this week three and week four. If you're only, if you're out for a couple of weeks or one of the weeks or any part, double up, whatever you need to do, right. To finish that goal, to achieve that goal. And then when you do your review, as you'll see much like in the previous worksheet, it says, did you achieve it? Yes, no, or somewhat. And then explain what happened, you know, I know people last week that uh, I had a group that people were supposed to get into or come to attend and three people were sick. Well, that happens. It's still, you know, it's still, it's December. It's yes. So maybe some are getting the vid again, but others are just getting sick. You know, had kids come back from college, kids out of school, you know, the little cootie, cootie kids, right? So looking at that, what happened? Did anything happen with your job or your business? Did you lose a staff member, gain a staff member? Did you, you know, inflation is off the charts, right? So what is going on in your world? So again, you're really going to set this up now. So then you can every week. So at the end of this week, you can check off. How did you do at the end of next week? So then when you get to, oh, what's that date? Uh, it would be. December 30th. Well, there you go. Because the last week is uh, starts uh, Monday motivation will be December 26th. So some of you, it's not even Christmas, Hanukkah is not even going to be affected. Uh, you're not, that's not going to affect you based on where you live or what you, what you celebrate, right? So looking at what is working, if you achieved your goal and, and week one, um, just say your goal, I, I talked about last time, one new client or a half, one more pound or half a pound, you know, and um, it can be harder during the holiday times. Maybe it's to, you know, I'm a runner, so it's to 
shave 30 seconds off my pace. That'd be great. Um, you know, lift more, um, unpack more boxes if you just moved, whatever it is. So looking at that and what, did you achieve it? Did you not achieve it? Or did you sort of get there? So looking at that. And again, I do this with all of my clients and I really focus on them. And yes, there are some clients that I don't meet with weekly or regularly, but I'll start doing check-ins with them. How'd you do? How are you doing? Um, and they'll just let me know. Um, and then the final check-in. So on that December 30th, right before you're checking out the end of the month, the end of the year and celebrating the beginning, I want you to look at this. So this, this worksheet's not just for this week. This worksheet is for the rest of the year, the rest of the month. You know, so did you achieve it? Yes, no, somewhat. Share your feedback. You know, I want to know what worked, what didn't. You know, identify challenges, blocks, distractions. Um, like I said, getting sick, uh, you know, everything, whatever life gets in the way, right? And do you have strong enough boundaries? Um, geez, I could go on for days about that. So, you know, setting up strong enough boundaries. And if you have weak boundaries, strong boundaries, setting those up is going to hurt the other person worse than it hurts you. It might help you, or you might, they might hurt you a little bit by help, um, by causing you, not helping you, causing you to feel a little guilty at first by saying no, saying not right now. Um, I just told someone no last week. And I was like, she asked, and, you know, I, I would have done this meeting for her, taken on, but I'm, you know, with my travel back to Indiana and back, I just, I knew I could not handle one more thing but I was honest with her about it. And she appreciated that. But at first I was like, oh, I can't tell her no. And then I'm like, yeah, you can. <laughs> yeah, you can. It's, it's not, it's not her fault. And it's not, um, it's, it, it was because of a certain situation and someone leaving the group that caused a hole and, and the committee. So someone needed to pick up that slack and I knew I could not do it. And I hope she doesn't either. And I'm going to check on her about that because she doesn't need to pick up everybody else's slack, right? So, you know, looking at that and making sure the boundaries you have are what you need. And maybe that's that's going to be something you really work on this month to get you set up for the new year. And it could be an example of, um, I have a new client and we met um, at the end of November 1st. Uh, not November 1st, but at the end of November, that was our first meeting. And one of his things is the industry he's in, he does have some odd hours. And um, so it was the things we were looking at is when do you need it? When is it an emergency, a true emergency? And how can he set himself up for success with um, return emails, you know, like the automatic repliers? One of the challenges is, uh, he is a highly text-based uh, company, business. And so he's going to look into switching that over. So going forward, a lot of times it's new clients, you know, letting them know, or I know text, not, I don't think automatic text, there's some new systems out there that if you get a text, will automatically reply, hey, I'll get back with you. Just like an auto email, I'll get back with you within 24 to 48 hours, whatever your deal is you know um just so they they the person contacting him or if this is your challenge as well contacting you knows that they were it was your message was received and you will get back to them and then please do now if it's a holiday or something like that you know just at least communicating and saying i will get back with you at, the, at a after the holiday i sent out an email um, right around Thanksgiving time. And I think I got 17 replies, automatic replies that they were out of the office and they would get back to me um, when they returned. Some had exact dates and some just said as soon as possible, that kind of thing. And, um, you know, that's what it is. So those are boundaries. And those also help the other person who's contacting you know what's going on. That Because what if I just didn't hear from the 17 people for a week or for even th three days, right? It's rude. 
So making sure if you're not doing something like that, that you, that you do do something like that. So boundaries, boundaries, boundaries. So habits and boundaries are going to be your big thing this month to really set yourself up for success for the new year. Okay. Um, and so like I said, next week, we're actually going to be setting up your personal and professional goals. And yes, I'm a business coach, but life is what gets in the way. They affect each other. They, you know, if, if something's not going right with in your personal life, it affects your business. And if something's not going right in your business life, it affects your personal life. So hand in hand, they all have to work together, right? So that's what we're going to be doing next week. And again, if you need help on this, please contact me. You can set up a one-off session and we'll go from there. And my email is sandy at sandyballard.com. You could go to my website and schedule that. You can message me um, here, wherever you're seeing this or hearing this, direct message me on social media. Find me, let me help you. Don't wait to the beginning of the year. It's okay. We can do this. And my whole purpose of doing this is to help you finish the year strong as much as possible, right? So I'm just stop sharing. That was probably a quick switch on you for watching the video. And um, like I said, I appreciate all of you. Thanks for investing in you. Thanks for, for, for taking that chance on yourself, your business, your goals, and your dreams. And if I don't, if you, some of you are checking out for the rest of the year, have a wonderful holiday, trip, vacation, travel, whatever. Hope you're doing well. And I look forward to hearing from you. Cheers.